Welcome or welcome back. My name is Chastity and I'm an intuitive life coach and Reiki master. I had very different plans for today's video. But ever since I woke up, um, I have been strongly guided to delivering a message. And I did a meditation before starting this recording because I wanted to make sure that I received clarity on what it is that they're asking me to convey. And I absolutely recognize why it is that they're asking me to deliver this message, not, not that I have to, but I'd like to understand why I'm being guided to doing certain things. And I feel really good about the fact that whoever needs to listen to this message will. Um, so many of us who are very spiritual and in tune with our energies and really the energies of the world and of the earth have been feeling a very, very powerful transformative energy over the last couple of months. And it feels like this energy will continue and actually pick up a little bit towards or for the rest of the year rather and into 2025. And the reason I am being guided to deliver this message is to have you understand from at least one perspective that any changes, particularly significant changes, that may or will occur in your personal lives is a result of your asking. It is because of your free will and of your asking the divine and the universe for changes. When we came to this earth and we decided to have a human experience, we decided the type of experiences that we wanted to have. And those experiences sometimes are in the form of lessons. And let me lay it out in a way that they showed me. And I think it's gonna be clear. When we were kids, we used to do this activity where we would connect the dots. Now, I don't want to assume that everybody has, especially because I don't even know how they do things anymore in elementary school. My oldest is 22 and my youngest is 14. But I know I used to do this and they did too, where if we were learning the alphabet or we were learning how to count, we would connect the dots. For these particular activities, all the dots would be on a sheet of paper and we would just, you know, start at A, work our way through the entire alphabet until we got to Z, and then it would create an image. Sometimes we would do it with, num with numbers. So we would follow numbers sequentially, one through whatever number it was. When we started, it was one through 10, then it got to one through 50 until eventually we were so much smarter. <laughs> And we did one to 100, whatever. It was cool though. I used, to, I used to really enjoy the exercise. And now I understand why, I think. So the vision that we had for ourselves when we came to this earth or based on the experience that we wanted to have when we were coming in, um, we had those that, that first dot drawn in and then we started to connect them as they started to appear 
on the paper. When we are younger, it's easier to see the next dot that we need to connect to. So we don't question it. As we get older, we see the next dot, the inspired action that we're being asked to take. But if we're not following divine guidance and we decide that our ego will instead take the primary control of our, of our life's wheel, what we do is we scratch over the dot that was already created for us, can't erase it. We scratch it and we just draw a dot wherever else we want to put it and we connect to it. We have free will. Why not? The thing is that as we choose to create these different dots based on our ego, the picture that we had for ourselves or the vision that we had for our lives doesn't look the same anymore. It's changed completely. And so when we get at different points in our lives, when that image that starts to create based on those dots that we started to follow or to connect, we don't either understand or it's so muffled and like, we don't even like it anymore. So we're like, you know, you know what? We, we, we don't want, I mean, we appreciate being able to, to, to draw those dots in, it's cool and all, but we don't like, we don't like this anymore. Like we're, we, we're done with this experience. And so we have changes that happen in our lives that allow us to kind of start on a new clean sheet of paper. And the divine is like, all right, here we go again. Now you're starting on a new sheet of paper, but you have the experience and the knowledge that you gained with the previous one. So maybe the second time around, you're like, okay, maybe this time I'll kind of start trusting those thoughts that appear for me and the inspired action I'm asked to take. Maybe I do that longer. So then maybe this on the second sheet of paper, you start, or maybe it doesn't, it's not a, a second sheet of paper. It can look like a big sheet of paper. It doesn't matter. Whatever works best for you in this analogy. And so the second time around, you decide, okay, well, I'm just going to follow inspired action. I'm going to follow my intuition and the divine, the divine's plan for me based on what I said I wanted to do. And so I start to follow the, the, the dots as they appear. And here's the next one. Awesome. It appears. And then again, somewhere along the line, we are like, but, but are you sure? Cause I'm pretty sure I didn't ask for that. I'm pretty sure that I wanted it somewhere else. And, and, and we do this again, right? We cross over the dot, draw our own, connect it in the way that we want to. Again, not an issue. We have free will. We can do whatever we want. We are not at the mercy of connecting a dot we don't want to connect. That's the beauty of it all. And every single time that we decide that that picture we are creating for ourselves with the dots we have chosen to, chosen to create, when we don't want that anymore, we want to move away from that, we have changes happen in our lives. And if it's significant enough, we're like, you know, again, start from scratch again. We have what most people would call tower moments. But please understand these tower moments, these major and significant and transformative times in your lives are because you've asked for them. It has been through your free will that these major changes may and will continue to happen. 
There is and will always be free will. You are not forced to do anything you don't want to. That is the beauty of life. Honestly. You always have a choice. You choose what comes next. The timing of it, now that won't be up to you. The how it comes to you, that won't be up to you either. But you will get to choose the experience that you want to have. I am, like I said, very confident that whoever needed to hear and receive this message will. And whatever changes may be coming your way that you've asked for, trust that they are for your highest good. Make the most out of this life. Live it to the best and to the fullest potential. And especially don't leave anything for tomorrow. I hear people saying this all the time. When I retire, there is no promise of tomorrow. You have today. So work with what you've got today and whatever changes may come tomorrow, you will always be fully equipped to working through. That is how it works. Just make sure that you're asking for divine guidance, that you're asking for support, and you will always be receiving it. If and when you are open to it, it will always come your way. Until next time, may love and light always guide you. Take care.